Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where we'll discuss info for the knife maker. Today we're up in the office because we're going to review the accessories for the F1 Ultra Laser. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we're up in the office, and here I've got all the attachments for the X-Tool F1 Ultra. I've got the conveyor attached to it. Down here, we've got the uh, air purifier, and uh, over here, we've got the rotary attachment. So let's talk about each one of those. Compared to the X-Tool F1, the air purifier for the F1 Ultra is about twice the size. The hose is a bigger diameter, and there's a much bigger draw on this. Uh, let me turn it on, and I'll uh, show you guys. So it's hard to hear, but it's on full blast right now, and I can feel the draw from inside the laser. The air purifier is actually a really important thing if you're using it in a confined space like where I am in an office. Especially if you're doing things like these laminated business cards. Because uh, these kick off quite a bit of uh, odor, <laughs> chemical fumes when you burn off this, this outer layer. So really important to have the air purifier. Uh, so I'm glad that they sent that. The one downside, the part that I don't like about this purifier compared to the one on the F1, this one is not USB controlled. Meaning when the laser comes on, that air purifier does not come on automatically. I have to go down and actually turn it on. It does have a variable uh, fan uh, switch so you can control the the amount of air that it's drawing, and really it's usually just for the noise factor, because it is pretty loud, um, but I wish it would come on automatically like the F1 air purifier does, which is a really nice feature. The laser comes on, the fan comes on, now I have to remember to go and turn it on each time, which is kind of a pain in the butt. They should fix that. Definitely the most impressive attachment for the F1 Ultra is the conveyor. This really turns it into a professional production level laser. Uh, and some, just a summary of the features here. Obviously, you can put things on the conveyor so you can do multiple, um, multiple things and it'll just keep going. You can keep stacking them up and it'll just keep dropping them in a bin or something on the other side as it lasers them. Lets you do long things. Um, if something that is larger than this, um, say you want to, do a sword or something like that. You want to add something really long. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the multiple use um, feature. And one of the really, really cool features of this conveyor is it will detect the orientation of something you put here and it will adjust it automatically. So what I'm going to show you is doing a bunch of my business cards, but I'm just going to throw them on the conveyor in any orientation it's automatically going to detect that orientation, rotate the lasered image, and laser it on. So that is really cool. So let's give it a try. Okay, so I've loaded up a business card, and you can see that I've got process on flat surface. So let's first change that, and we're going to process on conveyor batch. Okay, then it's going to tell me to shoot the sample material. There's a little camera up here. And this will take an image of what's uh, underneath the laser. So here you can see the business card. So now it's telling me to uh, frame out the material. Okay, so now it's showing me how it's going to look. So it's going to print out on this business card. Um, I'll just say fill. And now I'm going to go to process. So what it's going to do is it will look for any other cards underneath the laser in the camera. Uh, when it's done lasering what's there, it will move a full, um, this much, it will move the conveyor that much and then look for cards. What you can't do is put a card half into the, uh, the camera area. It has to be fully in there. So it's almost like you have to draw an imaginary line where the hood is and make sure your cards are in those squares. Let's just do this one, and uh, I'll throw another one on the, uh, on the conveyor after it, and uh, you'll see how it works. Okay. 
Because the cards are rectangular, sometimes it detects and puts the image upside down, which is totally fine. In this instance, the upper right card didn't actually get detected because it was partially under the enclosure. Uh, so they all have to be within view. The batch mode is a really great feature and you can just keep adding cards and it'll keep trying to detect them. And as soon as it goes through one or two rounds of not detecting anything, it'll just end. So now I'm gonna use the conveyor large feature. I've got a big piece of cardboard which is bigger than uh, this is the camera underneath the laser so it's pretty big and I've just stretched out my logo. So first thing we're going to do is frame it and you'll see it just puts kind of a little line. I wish it would do a larger area and then as the conveyor moved it would show you a bigger area. I don't think the framing is all that useful but at least with the picture you get a little bit. Um, this feature could use a, yeah, we need the framing to show us more of the image, but uh, I'll show you guys what this looks like. So here I've started the framing. You notice it only shows you like a one pixel image of the framing as it's moving. I really wish it would be like a couple inches wide or something like that. Um, it's really not that useful to see it, but you know, it's better than nothing. So there's what it laser engraved. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but the smoke coming off of this was pretty uh, extreme. Um, anything, anytime you do wood or leather with the blue laser, it does produce a lot of smoke. I didn't smell a bit of smoke with the air purifier, so that thing is definitely uh, an important attachment. So the next attachment I'm going to talk about is the rotary attachment, which I think is really cool. Uh, it has a bunch of different uses. First off, it has these rollers. So if you have something that's a perfect cylinder, you can just put it on the rollers and it will just roll that. So if it's, say, a wine bottle or something like that. Uh, it also comes with a three-jaw chuck, just like a lathe. So you can actually put something in here and um, fix it in there. And you can reverse these chucks if you want to do an inside clamp. Um, it also comes with this little tail stock um, with a little sponge, uh, sorry, a little plunger, um, which is really cool. And it also has this one, which is a back support that goes upside down that you would place over here if you need some support. So they really thought about using this in, uh, in really complex applications. Well, I'm going to use my Maritime Knife Supply cup, and I'm going to put my logo on the back of this. So for this... I'm going to use the uh, three-jaw chuck, and uh, I'm going to tighten it up, get it in here, and I'll show you how it puts a logo on something cylindrical. So here I've got the cup under the laser, uh, and do note that the camera is on off on an angle, so it's not pointing straight down. That's why you see one of the rollers and not the other, um, but it is over the center line. And what you do is you put your image, obviously orientated the way you want, um, and then right before the center line, and it's gonna rotate this and put this image there. So let's give it a try. I've got the enclosure open, and I've got this sped up 20X, just so you could kind of see it rotate, but um, it works really well. So there it is on the cup, very cool. So there's some cool things you can do with the X-Tool and all the accessories. There's links down in the description so you can get yours. Thanks, folks. We'll see you on the next one.